7 Don Shula Drive. There's a look at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami, Florida. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the San Francisco 49ers and the Miami Dolphins. This will be fielded at the 6. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. On first and ten, Newton. Throw left side complete. That's Hodges. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Here we go. Eight, eight. Mike's 54. Mike's 54. Newton now to throw. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So certainly not the start they were looking for here as they come up on a third and 14. Slam, slam, slam. Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. It's Greg Green. Green. Back to throw, Newton. And Robinson with a big catch. And all the way down to the 35. It's a big play there for Miami. 45 yards. Things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, today, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. Here we go, here we go. Watch the slacks, watch the slacks. Throw right side to Perriman and it's caught. The reception good for seven. It's third down. It's a game of seven. Makes it third and four. Ready. Ready. Great, great, great. I got you, boy. Go. 57 is the mic. Rock 57. Ready. Here's New. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Robinson. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 13-yard line. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise... And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Bucky Hodges, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins take it right down and score on the opening drive. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Check 31, check 31. There's Garoppolo to throw. Throw right side taken in by Pettis. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And the 49er first down. Here we go. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Let's go. Let's get this ball back to the offense. Let's go. Whip, 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 whip. 21, 21. Here we go. I got you. I got you. Check nine, check nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joker, joker. Joker, joker. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Watch a slant. Watch a slant. No, no, no. Hey, gun, gun. A run for Nick Chubb, and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here we go, here we go. 21, 21. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively brings up fourth down. So we have to remember, this offensive unit, they've been off for the last two weeks. Had an open week, and so it might take them a little while to get back into rhythm. I know they worked hard to try and get past that in practice, but practice isn't game speed. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field of the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami, it's the Dolphins with the football. They'll need to convert a third and seven right though there. to start things out. Here's Newton, that is caught, it's Perriman. And he's taken down right at the 45 yard line. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's gonna be made at the 49ers 45 yard line. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. 
Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Newton. That's caught out left by Perriman. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 30. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the 27, Newton steps away to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Brings up third down and seven. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. That's going to be a long day. That's going to be a long day. Mike, Mike, 57. Hey, where? 57 to Mike. 57 to Mike. Pick it up, D. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Newton now to throw. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. DeForest Buckner. He's the culprit. Causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. His kick is absolutely perfect. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points, get three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. So a very short kick here. This will be taken by one of the up men. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Brings up second and eight at the 39-yard line. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Hey, Steve Six, Steve Six. 59. Watch the run, watch the run. Mike, Mike. Garoppolo. This is Gabriel out on the left side. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. D Ford in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Here comes the 49ers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. This is fielded inside the five. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Big 
Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Hey, what's the ball? What's the ball? 57 is the mic. Watch 57. Hey, hey, I'm 20. Big air, big air, big air. On first down, it's Newton. Looking for Perriman there. He's got him. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 23 yards on the play. First and 10 at the 49 yard line. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Tight knot, tight knot. Pull together. 57. Newton. The reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Throwing is Newton. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like right at the 40. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. When it eats it. First and ten you at the 40 yard line. Me. You better be afraid of me. <laughs> now a give right side McCaffrey. And he's got Rome. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his third touchdown now on the year. But the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. I heard a coach talk about those late-in-the-half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. It's a very short kick taken by an up man. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. The first half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play this drive? Well, I've been told by my coaches previously that the intelligent approach, go ahead and run out the clock and start over. Don't make any more mistakes. But there's also something to understanding that you've got this last drive here. You get the ball to start the second half. Try to go two for one here. Get some points now and come out of the locker room and get more points again and get your momentum really built up. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. He was looking that time for Dante Pettis, and that'll bring up second down. Debo Samuel. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 21, 21. Here we go. I got this. I got this. Check, check. 59. Here we go. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Eluding the pressure right. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. 11, 11. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. One, Omaha. 11, 11, 11, 11. Crash, crash. Watch safety creep. Watch safety creep. Hey, hey, hey. High seven. Kill, 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 kill. Shoot, shoot. He's crashing. He's checking. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. 
And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. White, white, white. Two, two, two. Hey, gun, gun. Again, they'll throw with Garoppolo. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47 yard line. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken short. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. X3, 218, chop. 13, 13. Bravo. Clock, clock, clock. 21, 21. Garoppolo looks to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Calais Campbell in there for sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Hey, gun, gun. 21, 21. 12, 12. It's a safety creep. One, Omaha. 11, 11. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Duke Dawson picks it, and his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. 57 to Mike. 50. Now it's Newton. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Brandon, they didn't get everything they wanted out of that play. But the tight end did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. Great job of him holding on after absorbing that big hit. Throwing on third down, Newton. Cam fighting, he lost the football, it's out. The big man, get the oxygen tank ready. And they will score, it's a 49er touchdown. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. You know, that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback.
First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They're right back out there after watching the fumble go the other way. Still in control of this game, but that needs to serve as a wake-up call because they're not in the clear yet. No, the message should be clear that fortunes can change pretty quickly when you turn the ball over. You've got to take care of it, otherwise that lead could slip away quickly. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. You ain't doing nothing today. Newton to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Six yards on the pickup, and they're going to face a third down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. This is taken at about the 14. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Here we go, here the 49er we go, here we go. offense set to get this drive underway. I got you, I got you. Here's Nick Chubb as they try to fire up this run game. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, and now it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. White, white, white. Hey, gun, gun. 21, 21. Here we go. Check 26, check 26. Kill, kill. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here we go. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 65, 55, 11, 11. That's all right, that's all right. You got time. 12, 12. You got time. Hey, Charlie. Tight go, tight go, tight go. 21, 21. Back. And the blitz does come. Open man is Pettis. It's complete. Check back, check back. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Touchdown. Dante Pettis, 76 yards, as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that. But the rushing game, almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back. Rashad Perriman off to the races. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. 
Rashawn Perriman, his second touchdown on the season. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. The extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Defense now at the line, ready for their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. On the ground, it's Chubb, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. This go, offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 59, mark, 59, mark. Check, check, 59. Hey, echo. Three, six, six. Play Don't let it breathe, I got you, I got you. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. The shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Gets this one left side to Pettis. And eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. Garoppolo now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. A loss of two. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers go, do go, go to go. his production. But how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. They've got the number of the offensive line and the other guys because they're getting to him before he can get started. On second and 12, Garoppolo. The throw to the left side caught by Coleman. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. And they're indeed going to go wait, for wait. it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. one toward Coleman. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 22, and they will take over at the 26-yard line. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down, where's the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on him for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested. Knock it down and take over in a deeper position. 
A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Tackle that time by Jarquiski Tart. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Now Newton. Being chased out left. He may try and run for this. Newton able to use those legs and get past the marker to pick up the first. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs defensively. That kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. 57, Mike, 57. Hey! From the 50, Newton. Flushed out right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again, Newton. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's gonna be made at the 49ers, 37. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Back to throw, Newton. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hodges. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Well, I'm sure he likes this performance a little bit better than last week. He had the three interceptions here, none in the fourth quarter, and he's got his guys in front. Guaranteed he put in a tremendous amount of work this week, but maybe the matchup is just better for him. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. It's almost like those golfers, certain courses fit their eye, and they like what they see, and other courses, as soon as they tee it up, they know they have no shot. Maybe that's the difference for him. Last week, no. This week, a big yes. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get that one into the hands of Christian McCaffrey. And now it's second down. Now it's Newton. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Pass complete. But no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats. Throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, go, go. no, no yards. yardage. Okay. 57 to Mike. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. <laughs> Newton. That is caught by McCaffrey. Touchdown, Miami. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Here we go, here the we go, offense go. back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. 
Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once. We were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. He's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. 21, 21. Hey, gun, gun. Garoppolo to try again on second down. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. The Niners on third down, lacking much success. Just two for seven to this point. This is third and ten. I got this. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And the throw there going to be incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Ready? One, eight, eight, eight. eight. Focus, defense, focus. Ready. Newton's going to throw it. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a run with McCaffrey. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. 25 yards, but the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Point after, right down the middle, and the lead is now 24. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Well, this is just an exercise in futility. Do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. 21, 21. Hey, hey, Wood! Switch, my switch, my switch! Black! Hey, gun, gun! One final try now for Garoppolo. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you.
So for Miami, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1. And, and they will hit the road next week to take on the Seattle Seahawks.